Okay, welcome back. Uh, this is now the multi-sim live uh, that I asked you to make an account on, an online account. I've already logged in. As you can see, it's pretty easy to use. Uh, hopefully you've had a little bit of time to play with it. Uh, but we're going to jump right into that halfway rectifier. So I'm going to create the circuit up here. It gives me my workspace right away and it gives me all the tools that I need. Now, this is the free version, so there's not a lot over here, but there's plenty of what we need. We also have a grapher, kind of a weird name, but anyhow, that's kind of like your scope. And we can do a split screen, which we will do later. But as of now, since we're just building it, I'm just going to keep on um, the build screen. Okay, so like I said, we need to build the half-wave rectifier. We need a power supply. If we go to sources, the very first one is an AC source. We can drop that in. Next thing we need is the transformer. If we go to passive um, components with the resistor symbol, uh, over here on the right is transformers. We want the 1P1S, and I'll explain what that means in just a bit. That's our transformer. Now for a halfway rectifier, we need one diode that I'm just going to put right there. And of course, we always need the load, which is our one resistor. And I'm going to flip that right now. And then of course we need a ground. And we're going to put the ground over on this side. Okay. Those are the only components that we need <coughs> at this point. Um, as always, like you did on Multisim before, um, I always recommend just getting everything out that you need. Uh, before we connect it, though, I'm going to go through and I want to change all my values. So this is, this is the important part. If you look on your AC source right here, it says 1 volt, which would just be a 1 volt signal, AC, at 1 kilohertz. And we know what frequency is, and we've talked about frequency. But if you double click on it, it brings up a screen over here. This screen over here allows us to change what our AC voltage peak is going to be. So I'm going to change it, oh, I don't know, let's change it to um, 200. We'll do maybe the example that we did um, on the understanding worksheets. I'm going to keep it at 1 kilohertz for this, uh, for now. You can even go down here and you can look at some other things or some analysis things and even let you look at change symbols if you want or details and blah, blah, blah. But uh, you can mess with that on your own time. All right, here's something that's a little important, uh, the transformer. I talked about the ratio of the transformer. Now, our goal in this circuit right here is going to be to go from a 200 volt signal down to a 20 volt signal, just like we did in the example. And we said that was a 10 to one ratio. So if I double click on this transformer, it opens up this window, which tells me what my ratio currently is and what I can change it to. So right now it's a 20, I'm sorry, it's a 10 to one ratio, which means if you see the P turns and the S turns, what a transformer does is there's a lot of wire and you can kind of see it in the little squirrely thing there. There's a lot of wire wound on one side and less on the other. And what happens, and we're not gonna get into it, but in this case, you get a step down. In this case, it's a 10 to one ratio. Now. If I wanted to change this to a 20 to 1 ratio, a 5 to 1 ratio, whatever I wanted, the ratio I needed, this is where I would do it. And all I did was double click on the transformer. The diode, we're just going to stay the same. We're going to use the standard diode that they give us. And we're going to use the 1K ohm resistor. Okay, so those are the only two things I really had to change. Now, to draw the wires, you just click on them. It's not quite as easy as the other multi-sim, but it works. You should be able to figure this out fairly easy. Oops. Okay. So there is our half wave rectifier. Now, <clears throat> what does a half wave rectifier do to us? Well, or do for us. We're gonna show that in the uh, plot, or if we had a scope, a oscilloscope, uh, we could do that. But we're gonna show it in the grapher, which is what they call it. So I'm gonna do the split screen. 
I'm going to move this over and we can view here what the circuit does so this is going to be our, our oscilloscope this is what we had talked about so I can put a probe up here a voltage probe and I'm going to put it right here <coughs> excuse me so we're going to probe this voltage again this is a half wave so what does that mean well let's run it if we run it you're going to notice we get this funky looking signal <coughs> okay <coughs> but you'll notice it automatically gives us our um, limits and it's going from zero almost to 20 a little bit less than 20 back down to zero got a straight line back up now what I'm going to do I'm going to change this a little bit to make it a little bit easier to see I'm going to make my minimum minus 20 now 20 is up here minus 20 is here and you'll notice the reason why it's called a half wave rectifier what a half wave rectifier does is it clips off the bottom half of this wave it doesn't uh, invert it we'll get to that in full wave but it just clips it off so a half wave gives us just that a half of wave normally the waveform would come up and then go back down that's a normal sine wave but this is cutting it off now it's important to understand why it's cutting it off we have a waveform here that's 200 volts we're knocking it down to 20 volts and you can see that here's the 20 volt limit up here we're a little shy of that but we're going to talk about why in just a minute um, so we have close to a 20 volt peak to peak over on this side except we're cutting off the bottom half that is being done by this diode if you remember current only travels one direction or voltage one direction through the diode it cannot travel the opposite direction so when we have a sine wave the um, positive part of the sine wave travels through the diode to ground okay that is the peak we see here but on the negative side when it tries to flow this way it cannot the diode is blocking it therefore clamping it or cutting it off but then the waveform changes to the positive side again and you get current flowing back this way which is this one this is what a half wave rectifier looks like now you'll also notice we're at one kilohertz and one full waveform would be the peak here over to this point and if you put your cursor there you can see that it's almost one millisecond in fact it's one millisecond per division you can see that down here so it's one millisecond from there to there well if you take one divided by one millisecond you're going to get one kilohertz and that's what we learned in class last week okay this is your half wave rectifier